What we really are is a project space and a platform for both established and very newly emerging artists to exhibit sort of large scale and collaborative and project based work. I'm Amy Thoner and I'm the co-director, co-founder of Las Cienegas Projects. We normally do several exhibitions at once that may or may not have anything to do with one another. But with Ken and Dorit it was two different cases and it's funny, the name of Dorit's show is Asymmetry or Asymmetry and there's, there really is this, symmetry, this direct symmetry between those two shows. Inspiration to me is, is a, is a uh, I look for it moment to moment. A couple of years ago when I, I had to pack the family things after uh, my mother passed away, I instinctively separated out these objects. I instinct, as an artist, I wanted to understand the pattern, what's in here. So I put them into categories and I thought, oh my God, that's my father's, that's my mother's. And it's like, what, what crosses the threshold for me is the enlightenment. And that was living in my living room the, my entire life. And I'm really very interested in how um, personal objects also have political um, resonance, that they, they belong to culture, they don't just belong to you. They, they are contextualized by more than a personal life. So I wanted to take these personal objects out of context, uh, not to um, take me out of them, but sort of isolate them and look at them as portals into cultural histories. Hello, my name is Ken Gonzalez Day. Uh, I'm an artist and I live in Los Angeles. The title of the exhibition is Profiled, and it's part of a larger project that I've been working on for about three years. It began while I was a scholar at the Getty Research Institute, where I was looking at 17th and 18th century texts dealing with issues of difference. So I was looking at basically how coming out of the Enlightenment, people began to idealize notions of, of progress. They also began to categorize different races, different cultures, and to think about race as a kind of achievement. As far as advice for young artists still in school, I would say that the best advice would be to, to follow your passions and to find ways to connect your work to other issues that, in the world, whether that's other artists, whether that's social issues, whether that's personal or emotional issues, but I think that it has to have a relevance, first of all, for yourself, and then hopefully an audience.